If the subway's one thing, man, remember it's dangerous, so watch out for oncoming trains. And don't step on the third rail, because if you do, it's the last thing you'll yeah, ever yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. <laughs> well, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to your 721st favorite game review channel. My name is Purple Pisces, and today we're going to be looking at a very curious game from the PS2 era. Mark Echo's Getting Up, Contents Under Pressure, a game with heavy themes of graffiti art, gang violence, and other things that probably would not fly in any game released today. Well heck, it really didn't fly back then either. Apparently, this game was banned in Australia for being too violent when it first came out. I don't know where they can get that idea from. So, thanks to some release issues, some wonky cameras, and a few hit or miss controls, this game as a whole kind of just came and went. Which is a shame, because I think it's an overlooked art piece that deserves a little bit more attention. It's just so... It's just so... Bremen with culture. Yes, exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. I'm no expert on the topic. It just feels like such a melting pot of ideas, cultures, and peoples all coming together to make this journey of a game. Maybe I'm biased because I'm an artist and it's all about art, illegal art, but art nonetheless. I actually remember making some of my own tags as a kid. Cause I'm a criminal. So heck, maybe I wouldn't even be an artist if it wasn't for this game. And for that, I think it deserves my attention. So without further ado, let's pop this paint can open. Yeah, baby, I can smell the aerosol already. I'm fiending. Before even starting the campaign, I just want to take a look at these menus. And the UI artists really did a bang up job. This like urban, like New York subway transit feel for the menus, what a cool idea. And it fits the theme perfectly. I'm always just a sucker for good UI design, and this gets an A plus. We begin our journey with every neckbeard's nightmare, getting kicked out of our grandma's house. And no, it's not World of Warcraft, it's for being a graffiti artist. This nonsense about being a graffiti artist, all that scribbling is in art! The streets are going to kill you like they kill your father if you stay on this track. So we're cast onto the streets of New Radius, a corrupt, sordid, Orwellian city where protests and riots run rampant in ruination, where fire and blood flood the populace under authoritarian eyes and fists of oppression, where the people's cry to live a life of their own accord slowly withers on a whimper in the wind. To hell with all that though, we gotta paint some walls. But first. Toy ass biatch! Wow, it's like when I open my bank account. <laughs> These lovely blue and orange chaps are the Vandals of New Radius, the infamous local gang, full of hardened, dangerous veracity. I'ma go punch him. Jokes aside about the violence, the fighting is actually kind of dope. You can just feel the force behind these blows. Just beat the shit out of these guys, just BAM! Later you can unlock special humiliation moves, power beatdowns, and my favorite, the Cosmic Clobber 1000. I'll show you when we get to it. Toy ass biatch! Remember what I was saying about the cameras? All I'm trying to do here is jump from this pole to this pole, and the camera is oriented in you know what? Just, 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 just watch. Just watch. And I didn't even get on it. Cameras, bad. I guess I should introduce who we're playing as. Whoops. Our name is Train, which we will be seeing a lot of. Cause that's the name of the game, baby. Getting up. Getting up our rep. Our name. Our ass. Off the street. When we get our skull bashed in by this Ronald McDonald looking goon, Gabe, leader of the Vandals. And he's not too neighborly when we try and paint over his piece. Okay. You trying to go over my piece, huh? I suppose that makes you a legend. 
Are you bugging trying to right here? You know what this is, son, right? This is a vamp. Drop your shit. I want your paint, your black book. Not giving up, Train heads to the abandoned art school to strike back at the vandals, going over every piece we can find and hunting down Gabe's lieutenants to give them the Cosmic Clobber 1000, baby! Look at him <laughs> into the atmosphere! Oh, Jesus. We beat down this dude, and he tells us to head to the subway tunnels. Not before we get ourselves a new skin. Huh, so they crossed me out, huh? I'm gonna flip the whole script on them. I couldn't shake it. Everywhere I looked, all I could seem to focus on was spot after spot after spot, and how I was gonna bomb it. It was on, and the subways was my next canvas. We paint up some cars and make our first new friend. Yo, I write, I, I write Cry One, man. What crew do you rep? Runway Assassins? Nah, Duke, I work solo. And now we're ready to take a ride on the subway. What? That's not what I meant! Oh my god, this is suicidal! This is suicidal! Oh my god! Ah! Just take the bus! Just buy a ticket, man! After that lunacy, we square up on this dude, and his name is... My is god, it's Dip! Dip, looking to give us the daddy belt. Well, I got CPS on speed dial, mother... Tag, you're it. You can't see me. We bust him down and he tells us where the Vandal's hideout is. Spill it or kiss the rail. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Downtown. At Lawrence Meets. And so that's where we're headed. Not before running into Cry 1 again. Hey, if you want to weigh into Gabe's hideout, wait for a meat truck to enter the plant and hitch a ride inside. Gabe's crib is in the closed down section of the plant. And he is just adamant about starting a crew. You can't do this alone. Vanar's playing you so bad, come on. SFC, is that fresh S or what? F? Hmm. Still free. Still free crew. <laughs> I can't front this hype by me. And the still free crew is born because it's the words on his stolen hoodie. After the crew is announced with its whopping two members, Train continues to infiltrate the meatpacking district. Beating the tar out of butchers, <laughs> just doing their day job. Hey, yo, Tony. Yeah, this is Mike uh, down on the third floor. Listen, uh, we got some graffiti artist, a uh, jujitsu looking bastard coming around. Listen, I get $14 an hour. There's no way I'm going to be dealing with this. You can hear from my lawyer if you think I'm going to be facing up against him. So Tony is going to have to beat this meat with his own hands. You better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is again, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this game? Moving along, we sneak into the abandoned part of the meat factory. The true hideout of the vandals. Ready to just tag it all up. Aw, doggies! No! No, that's a bad dog! Whoa, this pad is dripping. Kind of a shame I got a tag all over it. Boy, I sure do hope nobody comes right up behind me and discovers what I'm- Gabe's so pissed about that stunner's game. It's all he wants to talk about. How can he not get pissed, man? Dallas just shot six for 20. What's up with that? Get, get his Vila! This mango-colored Hulk is Spleen, having the honor of second most disgusting street name. The Friday the 13th game looks great. We fend off Freddy and make our quick getaway. Train. You gotta get out. Over here. <sighs> Gabe's gonna have a shit fit. Thanks, I'm out. Yo, why'd you wear his ass anyways? Oh yeah, this is Tina. She's Gabe's girlfriend. Also living Bratz doll. I'd talk more about her, but she contributes absolutely nothing to the game. Literally, you can cut her out and nothing would be lost. She's voiced by Rosario Dawson though, and she does a good job. So hey, at least it probably helped pay off her second car. So what's popping off now? We get a new addition to the crew via White Mike. He contributes as much as Tina. Mayor Sung has unveiled a new graffiti-proof silver subway car. And Patty McCreary challenges Train to go graffiti, said graffiti-proof silver subway car. Patty's name is really Decoy, and he's kind of just doing his own thing, yet acting as a pseudo-mentor to Train. He's cool. He's a cool dude. You want to rub the pup's nose in it? You down? I'm down. So to get to the silver subway cars, 
we have to go through a car wash of toxic chemicals. I've only seen one other car wash more deadly. To be honest, that's probably the best part of the movie. But I digress. Okay, time to train that... train. We make quite the spectacle. Jack, did you get that on camera? And the mayor is not too happy. Train. Uh, isn't that supposed to be spelled T-R-A-I-N? Well, what's an SFC? Just another attention star, Vandal, sir. I can assure you Vandal Squad has leads on the inside with all these gangs. I want- Whoa, 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 hold the phone. I know that voice. Adam West, Adam West. Yup, the legendary Adam West is in this game. As if it already wasn't rad enough. He plays police chief William Hunt. We'll be seeing more of him later. So, since we completely bombed the mayor's fancy new subway, the vandals show their respects? Much respect. I can't even hate on you. Sung as a ventriloquist? We've been ruining each other's pieces, throwing shade at every chance, and beating each other into oblivion, verging on attempted murder. All is forgiven. Well, almost. What the fuck? This rider's bench is Van R territory. Decoy, you see this shit? Easy, Gabe. He's with me. Bullshit! He's disrespecting me! Me? You, bitch! You've been giving me heat since Jump Street and going over damn near every piece I do. You and your crew. I seen them stencils. Stencils? What are you talking about? Use a lying bitch! Hey, you boys want to battle? We can battle. One on one. Let's settle this. Over at the tunnel, it's like the whole city see it. Oh yeah, a one-on-one -on -one battle of pigments. Who's gonna come out on top? Spoilers, it's uh, it's it's us. We uh, we win. But the CCK storm in and decimate most of the vandals, while Train and Gabe agree to meet up at the abandoned pier theme park. Phew, finally safe from the police. Just gotta find Gabe and what the hell? The head of the vandal squad, Aunt Beth. A.K.A. the crazy bag lady. She had been watching us the whole time under disguise. It was a rumble for the ages. Anybody gonna strangle you is me. Oh, this bitch is no joke. Ooh, a tag team. What? 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 Oh! Okay. Oh, she's finally dead. She's finally dead. What? What? No. No, no, no. Who wants sloppy seconds? I am calling the police. I am the police. <laughs> Back to Okay, so, training Gabe banished that horror back to hell where it belongs, and through their trial by combat, decide to squash the beef. No more beef, man. No doubt. We gotta watch out for our own. And so the United Forces go on a painting crusade, tagging freeway signs, spelling out train and SFC with neon lights while climbing a transit tower, how convenient, and exposing the police's 1984 tendencies on transit cars. These two are causing quite the stir, so much so to attract media coverage by Karen Light, a reporter wanting to get both sides of the story. You must be trained! Maybe. I know who you are. Karen Light, right? An actual chance to broadcast our message? Yes, that sounds excellent. Yes, let's totally do that, or just look like a couple of jackasses. Yeah! B-A-N-R, what? It's our city too. Who's next? Maybe it'll be you, Miss Light. Okay, and? Train, what are you doing, man? Decoy is upset with these actions. Okay, so there's like a lot of heavy exposition jammed into this cutscene, so I'm gonna try and slice it down for you. Ready? Okay, here we go. One, Decoy was friends with Train's dad. 
Okay, got that. Two, Mayor Sung hired Train's dad as a hitman to murder a rival candidate, securing Mayor Sung's rise to power. Three, Mayor Sung killed Train's dad to cover up that assassination. And four, Decoy is painting propaganda on Sung as 906, the day that Train's father was murdered. Okay, got it? I know it was a lot to unpack, but this is where the game changes. It's not all just about getting rep and getting our name up now. It's about corruption, justice, and revolt. Okay, so, Train and Gabe decide to sneak into the police headquarters to see if they can steal any evidence the cops have on them, while tagging it up along the way. The police respond by sending an all-out death squad to storm their hideout. That thing! Ray! Move! Move! A black book! Climaxing with a rooftop showdown against... After taking down a few waves of silver guards, Chief Hunt decides to do it himself. I'm gonna finish you off with my bare hands, you punk! You filthy criminals. We beat him up, he falls through the collapsing roof, we dive in after him trying to save him, but he falls down anyway. Now here's the real kick in the balls, are you ready for this? Okay. The warrant now includes a charge of murder for the death of police chief Will Hunt. We have exclusive footage of the murder from our NNR choppers. They pin his death on us as capital murder. Yeah, we try to save him, but no, they, uh, they have it on camera and they say we murdered him. Bruh. Our crew leaves us because they don't want to die. Understandable. And this train has officially derailed. Come on, guys. It's like that. You know what's interesting during that raid? Gabe was nowhere to be found. And he's been ghosting us for quite a while now. Hmm. He probably just had too many McNuggets or something. I'm sure he'll turn up. I mean, it's not like he would sell us out to the cops or anything like that. We was crew, man. Boys? We ain't boys. Why that lion snitching hamburglar? We beat down Gabe and he spills the beans. I'm scared of heights, huh? Are you ready to stop this shit? Help me out, yo! Help me out, man! I'm sorry, she was gonna what? kill me. I had Tina no choice. Put you up to this? No, no. After bombing Hunt's office, man, the other night, this crazy bitch with a gun she cornered me. No, you didn't. So some crazy assassin lady named Shauna forced him to snitch, ratting out Train and the whole crew, including Decoy. Losing all respect for this clown, we leave him hanging out to dry. Train! Train, stop playing! A word is like that? You're dead, bitch! Give it up already! They coming for you, man! Time to go check on Decoy to see if he's okay. He is not okay. Oh, that does it now. Mayor Sung's gonna pay for this. I don't care if we gotta fight Morpheus. I don't care if I gotta fight some crazy Yakuza lady. He's going down. It's my pleasure today to declare a victory over the rats who've been infesting this city. The CCK under my direction have wiped out the vermin that vandalized our community. We did not lose our chief hunt in vain. And so here we go, the last few missions, giving New Radius the biggest tag it's ever seen, Major Rep, and sneaking aboard Mayor Sung's propaganda blimp, spewing out promotional flyers. We swap the template, turning his propaganda into... Slopaganda? Look, I've run out of jokes, okay? We're 20 minutes in, what do you expect? Finishing the game with our magnum opus, bombing his backdrop for a news interview, finally exposing him to the public as the monster that he is. Oh, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, one- With our mission completed, Sung has been smeared so badly that it forces him to resign, and New Radius is free from Big Brother. 
immediately. 906. The or is it? The assassination of then incumbent Mayor Brandon Gray, who was heavily favored to win over the district attorney's son. Plans were announced to freeze the Revive, Rebuild, Renew campaign immediately. The legendary street artist known as Train was behind last night's graffiti blitz and in the end is, in fact, still free. I don't know. They never made a sequel. And so there you go. That's getting up. I know I've been kind of ripping on this game, but I stand by my original statement. It is a work of art. Kind of ahead of its time, honestly. It's nothing special now, but I don't remember anything like it from back then. It definitely has its own flavor to it, and the painting mechanics were rad. I loved picking which pieces I would use before a mission, and seeing them get thrown up. A feature I didn't touch on was collecting tags from legendary graffiti artists. We actually get to meet a few of them throughout our journey. They all get stored in the menu screen, and it gives information on each artist how they got their rep, and where they are presently. Well, 2006 presently. Really cementing this culture into the real world, which is pretty cool. Could you imagine if there was a sequel of this today? Think about it, like GTA 5 except with graffiti? A huge open world where you can tag anywhere? Some kind of custom tag making interface? Some sort of rep system to see who's like got more rep than others? Yo, that would be absolutely bananas. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. <sighs> but it'll never happen. Probably too expensive to make, with not enough profit to be made. Oh well, a boy can dream. Anyways, I recommend you check this game out for yourself. It's on Steam for like 10 bucks or something right now. It's worth a shot, even though I kind of just spoiled all of it. Oops. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Violet Pilot, and uh... Toy ass biatch! Yeah, yeah, what he said.